Okay, so this is going to be an update to the Python scripting in Maya tutorials that I did a long time ago. Um, this video, we're going to just um, start off with printing out a statement and getting a random value within a variable. So let's see how we can do that. Um, let's start off with the print command. And right now in Notepad++, I'm not getting any color context. I have to make sure that I save this into a folder. So I'm going to just create a new folder in here that is going to be for our DICE project. And this is going to be our dice dot py or Python. Once I do that, we can see that it gets the color context for what we are going to be doing. So inside of parentheses and um, single quotes, what I'm going to write is just um, you rolled a die. So let's copy this. I can save it. And I'll run it inside of Maya. So when I run that, I get the command and then the result, which is just the line. You print a die. Or you rolled a die. Which is useful, but we can expand on that. So we can import modules into working with Python, which gives us access to pre-made functions. So we don't have to worry too much about it yet, but um, just know that these are pre-made um, sets of commands that we can uh, use that will give us access to do certain things. So I'm going to say import random. So I can do something like um, random dot rand int, and I can give it a range as an argument. So with a six-sided die, we have one comma uh, six. So we want a random number between one and six, or a random integer which will give us a whole number. Um, so if we run this at this point, you'll see in Maya that it reads the code and it just outputs the same thing that we had before because it did create a random number, but it, we didn't tell it to do anything with it. So. Let's go back in and um, briefly talk about variables. So with variables, we can say role equals whatever this uh, results, a number between 1 and 6. Um, a variable is basically a placeholder of information. In this case, this random number. It could be a lot of different things. But in this case, we're only dealing with a number. Um, and in, specifically an integer number. Then here in the print command, we are printing this result here, which is just a string, which is a collection of letters and other characters potentially. Um, so let's change this a little bit. You rolled a six sided die. And a lot of space at the end of this. And maybe I'll put a colon so that way we can put the result of this. Um, but by itself, it will still only print that command because we haven't told it to do anything with this variable 
information that we have here. Um, we can maybe add it and roll. This won't work by itself, but let's see what happens when we run this in Maya. So it gives us an error. This error tells us cannot concatenate string and int objects. So what that means is when we look at this string here, we have a string that we're trying to print, and we're trying to print an integer, which is this number. We have to convert them all together into one type of variable, or a data type, not really a variable, but data type. There is a pre-built function inside of Python that we can use that is called str. And then as the argument, we put in the role variable. So what this does, it turns whatever the variable is here into a string. So let's copy that and switch it over here. And now you say, it says you rolled a six-sided die, and then the result. And if we uh, run this command several times, you'll see that it gives us different results each time we run the lines of code. So with this, um, I might make a little change. because You can see here it's thinking that it is a Maya command role itself. Um, so I am going to go back in here and change this and maybe say this is going to be called die role. And we'll make this die roll. So we changed the variable name, but it's still holding the same bit of information, so it should work the same way. Cool. So that is it for this first video, and we'll continue on in the next one.